In this video, we will be conducting a tutorial in which we'll analyze a beam with circular cross section area. The beam will be as shown in this figure. We'll apply a load of 1000 Newton and it will have a length of 1.5 meter. The beam will be modeled as a linear element as shown here. The cross section of beam will be a circular. R is radius and EP is the thickness. Let's start it. First, we need to create a new file. Then we should go to the geometry module. Then we should add a couple of points which are called vertices. Let's say the first point is 0, 0 and 0. And the second point that is vertex 2 will be about 1.5 meter in the x-axis. Press apply and close. Next we'll make a line segment joining the two points. Let's call it 9 1. Point 1 is vertex 1 and point 2 is vertex 2. That's all we need to do. Now we'll go to the mesh module. To make the mesh of the line, we press create the mesh. Select white discretization with total number of segments of 5. Then we need to create the mesh by computing it. Let's rename the mesh as beam mesh. Now we need to make a group for nodes and the beam. First, let's make for the support. Let's call it support node by using in manual selection. Let's select the node that will be considered as support in our analysis we select it then add it then apply similarly we'll create a group for load node where we'll apply the load next we'll make a group of all the edges which we'll call a beam. That's all we have to do in the mesh module. We'll go now to the study module. First, we add a stage. Then we read a mesh. That we created just now. Now we have to define the mesh, what kind of structural element we are going to use. We, we let's apply everywhere the phenomena of mechanic and let's use beam, Euler beams. That is POW DE. Need to search it. Here it is POW DE. Let's press OK. One more OK. For beam, we also need to define the cross section. It's a beam. We select powder. Then in a section, we choose a circle. For the parameter. That is called character. This the R is the radius, EP is the thickness. Let's apply the value of 0 0.15 for radius 
and since thickness is also same we'll all apply 0.15 as ep then press ok ah we forgot to assign the group of elements we need to select the group of elements too okay next we define the material let's call it a steel it's a linear isotropic let's put young's modulus of 200 gigapascal and poison ratio of 0 0.3 okay and okay then we need to assign the material let's assign the material to the model and we select the group of elements of P and define the material as steel for these sections okay other function will skip for now now we go to boundary and load we def def define an assign mechanical load we can enforce a degree of freedom First, we will be defining the support. For that, we we'll check the support node. Instead of defining dx, dy, and Z, dz, we will use lesson and call it it's a fixed support. Press OK and OK. It's not a load. We can rename it as support. Now we'll define the load. We call it point load. Now we select nodal force, which is called force nodal. supply minus 1000 newton we forgot to select the group of node let's select it press ok ok so we have support and we have the point load next we we'll do the analysis for that we need to define make a static which is called static analysis its name is wrestling as we leave it days as it is material which is the defined material and a structural element will be the same as the structural one the point load yeah. that's all next we'll do a couple of post processing commands we'll cal use calc champ which is a calculate field to calculate the reaction force we use the result of wrestling And calculate the reaction node which will calculate the reaction at the nodes we can rename it as, as reaction next we'll print the outputs the first will be the mate format which will be used for the post processing let's call it result dot armit made stands for media file 
let's put the results inside this media file we choose the wrestling part only okay wrestling stands for result linear again we define similarly the output the format will be now the text format or result which is called result let's give a file name of reaction.txt in this file we'll print the results of our action that is calc champ Express ok that's all perhaps we save it I think I already save it but then we go to the history then click the stage file then run the commands since this is a static linear pro problem it should run quite fast yeah it's done now the files has been prepared let's see the reaction file here we can see the reaction as east north the node one is where the support has been assigned the rest are not support so all other all of values are close to zero while the node one has a value of almost 10 sorry thousand newton now let's also see the displacement in a post processor for that we choose Paravis in Paravis we open the mate file that we just created display it will be nothing but we have to select the wrestling displacement DPL stands for displacement now we can see the displacement to see the deformed shape we have to create have to compute the vectors for that we select the wrestling displacement then we generate vectors we apply it then using filter we can use the wrap by vector comma to see the displacement yeah that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching